Alright guys, welcome back. Today we are talking about Elijah Craig. Now, I don't know a whole lot about whiskey. Okay, I don't. And like I mentioned in the last whiskey review I did, or the comparison I did with the three whiskeys, a good buddy of mine, James, has asked me to do a couple of them, just to see what I come up with. And uh, from the uh, lack of uh, content in this bottle, uh, it's Elijah Craig's pretty good whiskey. And like I said in the last video, my only real experiences with whiskey is I fall down. I, as far as the taste goes, I never really gave it much thought. Until the last video, until I started drinking a little more whiskey. When you slow down and try and taste it and, and don't just slam it, you can actually taste some of the flavors. So this is Elijah Craig Small Batch Kentucky Straight Bourbon. It is a 47% alcohol, charred in oak barrels, obviously. Made in true small batches for balance and smoothness. Again, 47% alcohol. All right, here we go. We've got our whiskey glass. That <laughs> never gets old. First thing I noticed right off the bat is the color. If you're wondering what kind of glass that is, kind of confused me when I first saw it. That is a Norlin whiskey glass. I might have more on that later, but let's see what we have here. It's not an overly alcohol smell. Now, if you recall in the last video I did on whiskey, I, I smelled like paint or paint thinner. This is not even close to that. This is a nice sweet smell. I think I can smell some vanilla. And keep in mind, my senses are not completely in tune with what's all in the whiskey. I am as new to this as a new person can get. So people that have been reviewing whiskeys for a while or have been around whiskeys for a long time, they can pick notes out just like that. That is, an, uh, that is a learned skill. That is not something that uh, you're just going to stick up to your nose and say, hey, yeah, there's this, 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 and this. Not going to happen. It's going to take years before you get to a level where you can just smell the whiskey and say, hey, this is what it is. But I can definitely smell the vanilla. And I, I think I can smell the charred oak as well. And definitely sweet candy smell. Beyond that, I think I'm kind of lost. Anyway, let's check out the taste. That's ah, smooth. And by smooth, a lot of people wonder what you mean by when somebody says that is smooth. It doesn't burn. You're not getting the real alcohol burn as you swallow it. Now, I've watched a lot of reviews on whiskey. I've tried to pay attention to what people are or getting out of the whiskey itself. Uh, the one thing that I've learned is last thing you want to do is slam it because it's just going to burn you and by burn I'm referring to the alcohol burn but when you sip it like I mentioned in the last video you sip it like a hot cup of coffee. I don't swish it around my mouth I move it to the back of my mouth and I swallow it and then you wait and in the taste I can definitely taste the candy I can taste the sweet and, and the vanilla is there as well. I'm not getting much on the uh, charred oak, but it is a very, very smooth, easy sipping whiskey. Hmm. I like that. All right, guys, a little bit about Elijah Craig, the company itself. Now, I've gone to their website. It says the history of Elijah Craig is the history of bourbon. It says on their website that they started the bourbon movement. I thought that was Jack Daniels. Might have to look into that a little bit deeper. Reverend Elijah Craig was a Baptist preacher and active character in the 1800s in Kentucky. He was an educator, road builder, land speculator, and built the first paper and wool mills in Georgetown, Kentucky. But it was his gift as a distiller and entrepreneur that establishes his place in the history as the father of bourbon. I didn't know that. Elijah Craig is considered the father of bourbon. 
debunks maybe a few myths that I had about Jack Daniels. should also be noted that today, Heaven Hills Distillery is who distills the Elijah Craig brand. Uh, it says here, the Heaven Hill Distillery preserves the bourbon making tradition developed by Elijah Craig. Each bottle of our bourbon is crafted with the same method used by Elijah over 200 years ago. Local corn and grains are milled and mixed with limestone rich Kentucky spring water, then fermented and distilled. After years of aging in charred oak, our master distillers select the most complex barrels to become Elijah Craig small batch barrel proof whiskey. So there you have it. Heaven Hills is distilling the Elijah Craig brand now. It does have embossed on the bottle here, 1789. Actually, this bottle here cost me $53 Canadian at the local LCBO store. It might be cheaper based on where you're at, but uh, it is very, very easy to drink, very smooth. Now, you might ask yourself, for somebody that's getting new into whiskey, is this okay to drink? Who wants to spend $53 on a bottle that you can't drink? One tip I have is you can go to these LCBO stores, at least here in Ontario, and they have small sample bottles of different things for like five, anywhere from five to ten dollars. Get get a couple of those, try those to see what you like. At forty-seven percent alcohol, this is very easy to drink. It doesn't burn. The candy smell, the sweet smell, is pretty impressive. Elijah Craig Small Batch Kentucky Straight Whiskey is definitely a winner. Like I said, very smooth, very easy to drink, and if you're new to whiskey like I am, you won't be disappointed. That's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the review. I am not a whiskey sommelier. I am not a whiskey expert. I'm just a redneck that likes to drink whiskey. If I learn a little bit about it, I'll share it with you. Hopefully you can learn a little bit as well. That's it. That's all I got. Hope you enjoyed that. Till the next one, cheers. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. A little different. Yes, we are sitting here at the coffee bar. Coffee bar. My God. Hey guys, welcome back to the coffee bar. Today, kind of passing up on the coffee, a little harder, some a little nasty, some a little more bite. <laughs>